Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ETS2 Season 2. Oh, thank you for joining me on the previous stream where we had a live stream of Season 2 and uh, went on a V8 upgrade. You can see the V8 badge in front now. We are now in an R560 engine from Max and the interior is totally redesigned. If you haven't seen the stream, yes, a blue and white thing right on brand with the clumsy colors i did like a dark mode a night mode and a light mode right two modes and it seems like you guys like the light mode more this one so we're going with this one unless someone has a violent reaction let me know but i'm liking it and then in addition panda also gave me some modifications on the dashboard i think this looks nicer a combination of a black background with blue highlights I like the dials this way very very classy looking nice so yes today guys uh, i've been looking forward to this because now we can finally get to the new promos 260 areas and sorry I, I don't have it with me but um i know some members of the promos team watch the video so thank you very much for watching but even more thank you for making this all of this hard work for the entire community so thank you for the hard work and please let me know who the author is of this area because i've seen photos of it and my goodness this is one of the highlights of from mods pro mods 260 if i uh yeah were to gauge it so let's go and drive it's going to be a bit of a uh, detour because we're actually going to be delivering here in are are yeah but uh, we'll make it, it the long way around the scenic route basically and i think in this case it really will be the scenic route all right so without further ado let's turn off the gps there listen to lori let her guide us along the way so we can focus on the views off we go turn left. so if i remember correctly you guys were mostly okay with the audio Although I do remember there was someone who was commenting about the indicators. They didn't like these indicator sounds. I think it was a bit too loud for them. So let me know if you guys feel the same. I can lower the interior volume. Personally, I like it. Um, I like the clicky sounds. And the interior sounds of the stick, the parking brake, right, the indicator, uh, the blinker sticks and everything when you turn on the retarder or the wiper maybe. All those sounds. I kind of like the volume where they're at but I'm open to suggestions so let me know in the comments, okay. And then in terms of the engine sound itself, from my ears, it sounds perfect. The insulation that Max brings to this engine is amazing with this new update. Like, just compare and contrast when I open the windows. On how loud the engine actually is. You can really hear how gruff each and every detail is crisp with Max's sounds. But when you move your windows up, all of that gets muffled and you get presented with this amazing cabin insulation. Thanks to version 143, but even more thanks to Max's uh, rendition update of his uh, sound pack. And this is all free. So Max, thank you for the hard work and uh, thank you for giving us this experience of uh, proper insulation in a yeah, relatively modern cab right they you wouldn't really call this truck a classic it's not the newest model but it's definitely not a, uh, a vintage one so it has a modern type of um, insulation already and yes from what i've heard from you guys especially from the real truck drivers either retired or still driving from europe you guys have been telling me that the sounds are really like this in real life. Like you can speak to each other. 
in a normal voice. You don't need to raise your voice to speak to each other if you're inside the truck. And you will understand each other fine because the insulation is really just amazing. So I, I guess the engines themselves are not as loud as the old school days, right? But even more so, the insulation inside the cab is uh, really something next level. So let me take you on a bit of a tour while we're uh, on our way here on our new interior. You can see all the customized uh, stuff, all the colors, blue and white. I really love it. The, the Vabis wheel adds that vintage feel. Oh my goodness, in this. I'm not sure I can tour the interior so much because it's starting already. The views are starting already. My goodness. It was actually snowing a while ago. Thankfully, it stopped and the, the snow melted so the, the roads aren't filled with snow. That might be very bad. Especially bad for sightseeing, but also bad for my driving. Might make the roads a bit more slippery. But yes, uh, let me take you on a tour. If in case you didn't see the video, because I did live stream it, it's in the playlist. If you want to check it out, it's three hours where we drive, where we tested different configs, looked for the dash, the interior config that we liked the most, and uh, test drove it in the snowstorm and all that stuff. So you are free to watch that. It's in the playlist too. But yeah, I decided the live stream would be best for this, these kinds of things where I would want some um, real-time feedback as we adjusted the options. So yeah, there was a dark mode and there was a light mode. And uh, so far, it seems like the light mode is uh, winning. Oh, interesting. What is this? Uh, okay, do we fit there first and foremost? Normally, there would be like a vertical clearance, right? Maybe there was, maybe I missed it. But yeah, this seems awfully familiar in these areas. Like, I think I've seen... Although that's in Sweden. Yeah, this might not be exactly the case. But yeah, I think I've seen something like this in real-life videos. Watching in YouTube. Those small, one-way... Um, what do you call it? No, it's not a tunnel. It's an overpass. But we're not the ones going through the overpass, right? Oh, I like that, though. I really like that. Cool. And yes, mountains all over, guys. I'm having a hard time choosing which one to pick for the thumbnail. It's going to be 600 kilometers, more or less. So it might take up two episodes. But that's all good. We'll find a photo here or there. Oh, this might be a candidate. Nice. Is there these rivers or maybe lakes surrounding? Actually, the, the, the road goes through it, right? It must, must be a, a single, um, the same body of water. So that they decided to make a road to, to pass through it. The bad thing though, because is it, it seems like it's starting to fog up. It's not going to be good for the visibility. I sure hope it doesn't snow. Mm. Well, keep your fingers crossed, guys. But yeah, the visibility is not looking great. It is looking real, though. It is looking real. So there is that. And so far, Lori seems to be very quiet. I'm starting to worry that we are in the wrong spot. Okay, that's okay. Maybe let's keep it open for now. I just remember I still haven't fixed the speed limit uh, location. It should be in the lower left by now, I think. I have some conflict in my load order. It's okay, it's not a big deal. You can still see from it. But yeah, the vibes here, right? It feels so cold, I'm, I can almost feel how cold it is. Oh my goodness, the vibes. But yeah, it's great to see that the uh, Grimes Frosty mod is working great with uh, the Pro Mods areas. Normally, they don't recommend you use Season Mods because the, your mileage may vary, basically. They haven't tested other textures. So when Pro Mods team, when they make their maps, they mostly work with default textures, which is understandable. 
because that uh, is the most compatible, most used case. But yeah, it's uh, when you add these seasonal mods, sometimes you start seeing trees that go beyond, right? Start seeing trees that go on the road, you know, it, it, things that were not designed to be that way. But so far, looks okay. On on dullness, probably something like that. Now in on dullness, and I'll be keeping the After GPS on yards, turn left. because I am looking for the viewpoints. Lori will not be able to point out the viewpoints, so we will have to find that ourselves. No one here. Looks pretty eerie. There are some cars parked, but my goodness, it looks pretty scary, isn't it? Doesn't it? It's a shell station here. Do we need fuel? Not really. We're good. Yeah, look at that fog. My goodness. It's getting thicker and thicker, definitely. Ay, ay, ay. High beams? No. You guys also told me, and I really like that tip. To try it. so I remember in actually it was the 80s onops we were driving at night and I was turning my high beams on and off I was turning them on when there was no car on the road and then turning them off when we were meeting someone on the opposite side of the road so they don't get blinded um, so you guys told me that uh, it's better actually to stop of uh, stop using the high beam beams at all avoid using them and uh, let your your eyesight and let your night vision acclimate to the low beams so that you wouldn't need to do that on and off thing and it will be safer it will be less workload and yeah your eyes will eventually get used to the the darkness it's a very good way of uh, putting it Maybe we'll try that next time. It's not going to be that good for the video, maybe, because it will be very dark. That is the electronic pass kind of thing. Oh, I see a huge bridge. Well, I see the bridge and nothing else. Um, let's see. Let's have a look outside. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're, we're seeing silhouettes seeing silhouettes of the mountains as we go so this might actually be something we can take a photo of later we'll see in the thumbnail if it this ends up being the thing but yeah this looks promising lots of roadworks here at the moment though <clears throat> right slow it down keep it at 60 very nice view. It looks like the fog is also starting to dissipate. Thank you. That will be great for us. Sorry, Veko. There you go. All good. I love it when this engine starts to really work for it. You know, when you want to really start accelerating as fast as you could, you could start hearing the engine really work and grumble let me show you that one when you need the power it's there it's just trying to let it not uh, trying to pace it right not always at a hundred percent interesting looks like there is a ferry up ahead how does that work hey Interesting. Okay. Let's see how this thing works. Uh, but yeah, it looks like I would need to ride a ferry of some sort over here. I have no idea. But it's a dead end for sure. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, 35 minutes, 90 euros, oh my goodness, to cross that island, I guess. Okay. Alright, we're here. Oh, I was hoping it you could actually see it. Oh, that's okay. Wishful thinking. Although it is starting to get dark. What time is it? 4 p.m. Oh, I love those sounds. 
that's why I'm I'm um, I'm having second thoughts about lowering the the sounds of the interior because when you uh, when you turn on those switches, right? When you turn on the parking brake, when you release it, those are all grouped together. So it won't be the best. Um, it will be too low when I lower the interior Turn right. sounds. Turn right. Where? Oh, here you mean. Okay, sure. This one is going to Tron time. Oh, crap. Sorry, sign. Whoop. <laughs> A bit too skimpy for this truck right here. Yikes, nothing happened, guys. Nothing happened. Yeah, I like the, uh, the very subtle grumble of this engine. Very good. Alright, off we go. The road not network is very nice. Feels very much like a small town, right? And the roads are properly small as well. But yeah, this one actually seems a lot more uh, populated. Lots more cars here. Lots more activities. And it does feel super cold in here still. Which kind of makes sense. How cold is it? Negative 4. For Norway, that might not be actually that bad, huh? Thank you. Yeah, hear her grumble. The engine at work. Didn't know there was a Tesla here. Oh, I see a viewpoint, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. like lots of boats here um this is not the oh where is it oh that's i think where we need to go crap that's not going to be easy for us is there going to be a way to make a u-turn afterwards might not be the easiest thing to go through but i mean for you guys we'll risk it so we can uh, tour this together all right let's do this and if it gets dark, I will sleep. We'll wait for the morning. It's okay to be late with this job. It's not the priority at the moment. The priority is sightseeing. The, I, I was actually willing to go through this part of the area. This, wow. The part of this road. Even without a job, just for the sightseeing. So, yes. Yes, Lori. This is a detour, I know. So here should be the... Viewpoint. Turn around when possible. I know, I know. Give me a sec. Alright, let's go. Get some views. What is this? Molde. Molde? Does look like a how do they call it? A ferry? A dock area? One of those areas with lots of uh, boats. Is it for fishing? For uh, leisurely boating <laughs> you, you, you would know I know a lot about boats with the terms I use right <laughs> uh, very cool and yes overlooking all of those uh, mountains at the back man I wonder if I've flown here already I, I remember in Microsoft Flight Sim I've been touring Norway I've gone from the north uh, end making my way south passing through many other places this must have been one of them could be i've seen many areas uh, that are super scenic but are looking like this and my goodness add the sunset on top of that just just looks even more amazing doesn't it wow cool oh looks at that. are they taking a selfie maybe don't take a selfie here just take that photo like that and yeah it looks like the, the snow here isn't so thick we actually see a bit of the grass peeking out the snow is starting to, to melt at least in this area then the mountains are fully snowed in which makes a lot of sense okay now the next question how the heck do we turn around uh, um, <laughs> uh, 
I have an idea, but I don't think it will be a good one. Well, let's try to go, to go straight, see if we can find something. Oh, that's already with lights open. It's getting dark. Yeah, a while ago I was tuning my light settings in here. I, was, I actually maxed them out because they looked a bit dark. But maybe at night it will be too much. Oh, it's only now we discovered mold. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, um, let's see. Maybe there is a U-turn slot up ahead. If we're lucky, I don't think we will be that lucky. Can I use the stairs to go up? <laughs> Probably not. Ay ay ay. Ay ay yikes. Yeah, looks like we're trapped, guys. We might have to reverse all the way in. Ooh. Um. So I'll spare you the pain because it will take a while. I'll meet you guys back there when I've uh, reversed already, okay? Catch you guys in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Made that last turn. It's not so bad. I actually used that... Uh, yeah, that one. That open area right there. There, there. To reverse into. It was not that difficult, thankfully. But what's difficult is it is getting dark. Maybe I should have slept there. Mm. Well, I'm hoping there is kind of midnight sun happening in here, but uh, I'm not sure. I think it's the opposite in Norway, right? When you are in winter, you get the uh, very minimal daytime. So I'm not sure we might actually not get so much. It might actually get dark and it might actually not get bright in a while mm, yeah it's it is getting dark dang it although in a way it is kind of dreamy isn't it like you have those lamps with the nice foggy effects there and then we're still seeing the landscape so it is not bad but i think i will try and sleep somewhere nearby yeah and we can maybe continue next episode because yes, this uh, as scenic and as um, nice the ambiance is of this night driving here in this part of Norway, it does feel like um, it still would be better if we drive in daytime. So I might just do that. We'll see. One second. Yeah, it looks like we have quite a ways off still. So next episode is when we could probably do that. Is there a rest area nearby? doesn't have to be a rest area maybe even just a shoulder and we can see there's a sign here maybe that's yeah that looks like a stop no it's actually a toll gate only mm, crap yeah because this one right it's nice but i think it can e make it even nicer so what i'll do is i'll look for a maybe somewhere here oh that looks scary though might go to a dead end in that house maybe i can stay there for a while although i'm not sure if they'll let me in <laughs> i'm not sure if they're that welcoming to strangers i do have 14 tons of ice cream at my back though so uh we can we can use that as leverage i'm sure we can change a few minds with some ice cream although that being said maybe not because it is super cold outside already uh, oh, this one. Yes, this is where we can stop. Yes, yes. I see a an establishment here. This might be a distribution center or something. Oy, 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 oy. Don't go beyond. Oh. Go past it. Oh, crap. Okay. No problem. So we're going for a bit of a detour. We're staying here for a bit. And uh, it looks somewhere to spend the night and I will catch you guys in the next episode where we will continue our journey and explore the rest of the new areas in Norway from Bro Mods 260, okay? So catch you guys in the next episode and wish me luck that I can find a suitable spot because it is looking pretty eerie in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, there seems to be a guy. Alright, alright. Someone's actually marshalling us in. Thank you. Yeah, this looks good. Alright guys, let's end it here. Catch you in the next episode. 
Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. I'm still trucking. Man, left one second. This setup actually looks great at night, huh? Nothing too shi nothing too shiny. And yeah, the, the black um, background with blue highlights really shines in a good way at night. Awesome stuff, Panda. Thank you for the hard work. Amazing stuff. Thanks, guys, and catch you in the next episode. Bye.